Before we consider what a computer network is, let's quickly say what it isn't. A standalone computer. A standalone computer is one which isn't connected to any other computers. It might have peripheral devices attached, such as a printer, but it can't communicate with any other computers. We have a computer network when there are two or more computers connected together, usually with cables. Computers on a network are often referred to as workstations. This type of layout is called a bus. You can see that the bus has a main backbone cable and the workstations are connected to this. In a peer-to-peer -peer network, all of the computers have equal status. You could say that a peer-to-peer -peer network has no server, or if all of the workstations share files and peripheral devices, they can all be thought of as servers. Connections between devices on a network can be made using radio signals. This is known as a Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi stands for wireless fidelity. Wi-Fi networks are particularly useful for laptops, smartphones and other mobile devices that come and go. Wi-Fi networks rely on a wireless access point through which all traffic must flow. The wireless access point creates an area around it known as a hotspot. The wireless access point is effectively a substitute for the backbone cable. If the wireless access point is connected to another network, for example a much larger wired network or even the internet, then it's known as a router. In a local area network, or LAN, computers are geographically close together. This means that they are usually in the same town or the same city. In fact, they are usually on the same site. For example, all of the computers in an office, or all of the computers in a school or college. Desktop computers in a LAN are usually connected via cables. But if there are laptop users as well, then they're probably connected using Wi-Fi. One of the biggest advantages of a LAN is it can be used only by the people who are allowed to use it. It's private and secure. A wide area network, that is a WAN, is much bigger than a LAN. The computers are geographically remote. The network might span an entire city, a country or even the whole world. Devices on a WAN are usually connected using leased telecommunication lines or satellite links. Signals on a WAN will probably be encrypted, but it's still less secure than a LAN. Servers are the most powerful computers on a network. They allow the users to share files, applications and peripheral devices. Servers authenticate users to the network when they log on. They have to type in a username and a password. Servers can provide email services. Servers can also host private websites known as intranets. Servers can also provide LAN users with access to the internet which can be filtered so that they can't see inappropriate content. So, what are the advantages of a standalone computer? Well, to start with, there's no reliance on servers for files and peripheral devices. Standalone computers provide much faster access to local files. There's no need to log on to a standalone computer, although you can do if you have multiple users sharing the same computer. And a standalone computer is necessarily more secure than a networked computer. And finally, standalone computers, well, they're much cheaper than networked computers. So what are the advantages of a network? Well, users can share files and peripheral devices and even applications. Communication services such as email and web pages can be made available on a network. It's easy to install software onto workstations from a central location. It's easy to set up new users and peripheral devices on a network. Roaming users can access their own files and settings from anywhere. They can log on at any workstation. And finally, different users can have different levels of access to the shared resources. There can be files and folders on the network that some people can see and others can't. 
But networked computers do have some drawbacks. For a start, they can be expensive to set up and to keep running. It requires special skills to keep a network up and running. If a network stops, it might not be possible to access any of the shared resources. People become reliant on their network. It can be difficult to secure a network from hackers, novices or people who want to commit industrial espionage. The performance of a network degrades as the amount of traffic increases unless a network is well designed. To summarise, a network is two or more computers connected together. Computers in a local area network are close together, whereas computers in a wide area network are far apart. Computer networks allow users to share resources and to communicate with each other.